What's going on guys? Chris here, back again with another market video for you guys today. In this video, I want to talk about some of these what-if cards, when to potentially buy them, talking about certain market scenarios with them cards as well. I'm going to talk about the player pick SBC that we got for the icons, uh, prime and uh, middle. We're going to talk about that, the market impact, what happened to certain cards, where we go out from here, and looking at some of the fodder as well, and maybe giving you guys a few little investments that I could like uh for the next like week or two so before we get into it if you guys can just drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new right here that'd be absolutely fantastic get involved with the free train discord in the description my my instagram my twitter and of course my twitch which we were live there twice on monday so a good start to our week but let's talk about the market right now and like i said i i promised a second video earlier today uh here are some of the what if cards obviously that we have uh they're fluctuating and from what I know, these guys, there's a couple that have games on Wednesday. Lee's Mello has a game on Wednesday, and I believe Udinese does as well. So Pereira does. In the case of Pereira, I don't know what Udinese's situation is or not. But if they don't score a goal, or they only score like one goal, I could see that card dropping further on Wednesday. And Lee's Mello, I'd say he's already scored three goals. So all you need for him is if he does complete the requirement... He's, I don't know if he's going to get the upgrade on this Wednesday coming, uh, even though he plays on Wednesday. If he does get the upgrade, he's going to shoot up right away because people are not ex they're not expecting him to go up uh, in overall that quickly. And his card will look really, really good, and I think he will go higher than that 125k. But say he doesn't get that upgrade until the following week, I think all that supply you see on Thursday could come in and kind of pummel him a little bit. Um, so that's going to be some market movements maybe around that. Marcelo Bercici and Jovic are some other ones that I like. I think people on Thursday will go out for the cards that they know are going to be getting the upgrades, which is a plus two. Like, for example, Odegaard is most likely going to be getting a plus two, so I think a lot of uh, a lot of people are going to be looking at that as like a potential out-of-pack uh, flip. I think a lot of people are going to be looking at Marcelo as well because he's a, he's a Brazilian center back. Leon are having a good season. Uh, all they need is one clean sheet in five games. So if they hit that, or in four more games, sorry, uh, Marcel I think could do very well out of pack. So look out for like Marcelo this Thursday. Jovic, I like that as well because he'll be an 89 striker in the Bundesliga. I like that. Uh, now talking about the Zimbabwe card, um, be very very careful with the Zimbabwe. And the reason I say that is because there's a lot of people looking at this card. Either they're looking to buy him. They're looking at him just monitoring his price, or they've already bought him and they're wondering when to sell him. There's a lot of people that have this card. There's a lot of people that are thinking about him. This is the type of player that I'm very afraid of because look what you're seeing right here. He's extinct. You're waiting for EA Sports to update the price range on this player. And if they don't do that, what's going to happen at some point is somebody's going to get impatient and it's going to start a... Uh, a domino effect and if you see like more than four or five on the market it could spur this whole downward spiral of Mbabu so I would say to you guys and I've been in this situation before trust me I've been in this situation before uh if this guy has not been upgraded uh or in terms of price range updated uh in the next like 48 hours I would be very 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 careful with this guy because again if we get to rewards and you know this guy has not been updated if they up his supply i've seen what happened with vardy record breaker you will lose a lot of coins so just be on the lookout for this card if they update the price range though before his team of the week or before his upgrade potentially on wednesday yeah i could see him rising for sure i could definitely see it rising but again you need to see this like you need to be careful with this card because ea have full market control over him uh, because of the price range now let's talk about some of the uh the prime and mid player pick spc that we got today uh fodder flu right and you know this spc was coming in at a value of like i think at nine hundred and fifty thousand. it's now up to 1.2 million so this has gone up another two hundred fifty thousand coins because of a lot of people going out and doing this spc and it just shows you by the way where we've headed as a video game because back in fifa 18 on march 22nd of 2018 we got Maldini, Ronaldo, R9, and I think we got Hullet, right? Those are the three SBCs that we got, and we used to complain back then about every little thing in FIFA 18. Now you've got 
you know, all of, you know, you had all of those SPCs back then at, when you look back at it, probably fair prices. Now you come to FIFA 21 and they're charging you 1.2 million that could have a pick of middle Larson, middle Rui Costa, and mid Skulls. Think about like the whole like concept of EA Sports and what we are seeing happening right in front of our eyes. This is a gambling simulator. This is what it is. Everything that they implement into this game is gambling. Okay. Everything's about oh, what if you look at the promo word? What if you got this player to upgrade your squad? So just you know, the way that this game is, and again, we have the icon as we see expire today. We did not get a renewal of Icon SPCs, but what I will tell you though, and I said this I think in a video the other day, or I did say this on a stream, if there's no Icon SPCs in the next seven days, they've scraped the whole thing. And it's a real shame because that's the second thing that they done from the pitch notes earlier in the year where they actually advertised Icon SPCs and in a better way than ever before. And that was their words, by the way. So they have lied yet again about icon spcs we have gone in total icon spcs probably about 12 over the year and none of them have been worth it first off and number two they have not been fairly priced uh and the ones that we truly do want so you know it, the state of the game right now is awful when it comes to icon spcs we just want to be able to grind for our favorite icons i like to say in the next seven days if we don't get new icon spcs they've probably just scraped it because at that point we're almost in mid-march and you haven't even you know giving us like a real like even like um i don't even know like a, a prime icon spc or a prime moment it's like a prime moments carnivara right something along those lines we haven't even got something like that yet um or even like a prime moments in Etsy. we haven't got something like that yet either um i'm hoping we do get some of these prime moments cards though because uh i think it would it would help ea a lot but it's up to them obviously uh with the 81 plus player picks right now and the 82 to 88 upgrades I do think the market's going to stay relatively low over the next couple of days. We did see a lot of market reaction from this Prime Pack coming out. We've seen a lot of things dropping in price. Uh, and we also saw a lot of fodder rising, a lot of informs that are out of packs that are rising in price. What am I doing the trade right now? I'm just doing your typical fluctuations. I'm doing some sniping a little bit here and there, some 10, 20, 30 method, some silvers. Uh, and then I bought a few like Davids and... You know, this isn't going too well, I'll be honest with you. Um, this guy was literally just selling at 131,000 coins. And uh, right now, I think he's at like 120. So I'm hoping that when, you know, EU wake up, I'm hoping he goes back up. Because this guy hit a peak of 147,000 coins. Uh, yeah, this isn't looking too good for me. But this guy was 147k on the weekend. And now he's down at 120. And that's where I picked mine all up at. So we'll see what happens over the next like 12 hours on a guy like this. I might just have to hold it. I mean, the amount of supply that you're seeing coming onto the market right now, everyone is selling things, especially, uh, you know, anything that's like 500k plus really took a hit today uh, with this SPC because a lot of people sold things to go and do the SPC. I do think you see the market go up on Thursday. The problem, though, is I feel like a lot of people, and what we've seen more this year than any other year, is that people use Thursday rewards not to upgrade their teams anymore, but to do SBCs again. So what I would recommend you guys to do during rewards on Thursday is if you see fodder dipping, and we've seen the high prices that fodder have gone to, by the way. Like, for example, 85s are over 20,000 coins. 86s are at 35k at minimum. 87s are at 50k. 88s are 71k. 89s are 90k. 90 rateds are 110. 91s are 130. Old Black literally went from like 80,000 coins all the way to 133 today, which is absolutely crazy. So if you see fodder dropping again, you could you could potentially pick it up on Thursday because you could see a rebound. Uh, we see it every single Thursday where people, they there's a lot of supply on rewards, then they kind of rebound back up when people are doing SBCs. If you want some quick investments, I'd say 83s and 84s are pretty solid, I think, for a look. Uh, if you're looking at 84s, look at left mids, right mids, left backs, right backs, and center backs. So you look at a guy like, for example, Tai Fico here, the blue one, right? He's 8.7K. He went to literally 12.5K at his peak. He went down to 8.8. .8. He then went back up to 10.2, which he probably went up to like 10.5. So 
and he doesn't go lower than eight. You're not going to see him lower than eight just because people know where these guys are, you know, kind of chilling at recently. Um, I would say something like that you'll probably see happen. Uh, where if we do, if we get a party bag on Thursday, I think you do see that market go up, the 83 and 84s. Um, and I do think you see some of these 84 informs going on more as well. Like, for example, uh, the ones that are especially in this team of the week, like 84 Keen, for example. Like, I think that guy can go to, like, 32, 33. So, like, if you have this card, I'd probably keep it. Just because I think it could go a little bit higher with a party bag. Because that's a, a specific requirement. He went up a lot today, or he went up a little bit today because of the 85-plus squads. But that's because he was a lower rated. And he just fit the, the chemistry requirements. But if an actual SPC requires him, like an 84 squad, he's going to go up much further. Uh, if you bought with us uh, on the weekend with some of these Team of the Weeks, man... Luis Alberto was probably the best one. You know, we told you guys to buy him at like 50s. He's at 79 now. Uh, we bought, we told you to buy Hollers at 20, Eunice at 20, Romero at like 24, Keen at 23, Lucas Vasquez at 38. I mean, we've, we did really well with, with some fodder investing this week. And that is the type of content you see on the YouTube channel daily. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow's video is going to be probably another market one. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in the video soon. Peace out.